Hi Fire Signs, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. I just quickly decided that I really needed to do a reading around um, the emergence from lockdown. I've not really touched on um, the COVID-19 because there's so many other people that were doing it and it was just seemed to me to be a bit ridiculous when we were all in the same boat. Um, but today we are going to be hearing from Boris Johnson about the emergence from lockdown and how it's going to look like for the UK. I know it's already started for some of you in the USA and that you're under that process and some of you it hasn't started for. Um, so I just thought I would do these very quick readings for the elements. So I'm doing air, earth, fire and water rather than the star signs this is just to give you an overview and a flavor for your element to what may be happening for you in this emergence from lockdown now if you are a fire sign but you have more heavily weighted in other areas go and have a look at the other elements as well i've tried to keep them as brief as possible so if you want to see all of them because you might have a good mixture of all of those in your birth chart um, I've tried to keep them very um, short so that you're able to say what the emergency is going to look like so starting off with the green witch tarot which is this deck here um, we have got these three beautiful cards here and what we've got is the queen of chalices now as you know i deal with energies i do not deal with male or female um, and this energy is telling us it's time to heal it is time to sit and reflect she's not offering that cup out she's holding it on her lap because she understands that she needs to and does very successfully move away from old ways of being so moving away from gossip moving away from untruths redirecting people towards something more positive she also holds the cup on her lap in order to teach you how to fill the cup up for yourself not selfishly but this cup is going to be offered out to somebody um, or something so therefore you need to be careful how you're filling your cup up what you fill your cup up with is what you're going to get back so you need to think about what it is that you would want back by way of a cup being offered out now this doesn't have to be love per se it could be but i de deal with energy so this can be a cup being offered out to a sibling a parent a friend a lover a neighbor a business partner all those sort of things so you have to think carefully what you would put into that cup going forward coming out of lockdown and i think the first thing that we have to say is for a lot of us it is the knowledge and the wisdom that we're going to come out with that we need to start our cups off with and it may be that we want to put love in there but it could be a bit further down the line once we have decided for ourselves what the lockdown meant for us entirely and how we're going to feel about emerging out of this lockdown. Now for you my darling fire signs, clearly you've got the high priest, he knows what he's doing, he knows how to conjure this magic, he knows how to bring protection around him but it's all to do with tradition he's very traditional he is very timekeeping absolutely 100 percent. and i get the feeling that for fire signs that the emergency is going to be the timing of that is going to be all important for you um and also the traditions around your family may have well changed throughout lockdown and it may be a time when you're going to re-evaluate between this queen energy and the priest energy 
as to what is going to be your tradition what it is that's going to now be born of what happened during lockdown but lovelies what you have got going forward you've got the knight of wands and this is telling me that you are going to move away from the trauma of the lockdown you're going to move away and walk nicely towards this beautiful sun in the distance towards your desires and i get the feeling that your desires are to heal your desires are to take these traditions that you have had born in this lockdown forward with you into the future um, and learning to heal is part of that process but this horse is moving nice and steady this knight is moving forwards and it is saying to you that so long as you take this nice and easy your journey will be plain sailing it's not without twists and turns by all means but it is plain sailing to that beautiful sun which is your yes so lovely is moving to the angels and the ancestors which is the other deck that i normally use you have the shonen master and this card says be graceful in movement and action. Now, when I see this, I see Tai Chi. And when my friend sees this, she sees Kung Fu. Don't ask me why. But what it's asking you to do, whether you are strong or weak, it is asking you that on the emergence that you move gracefully. Even when you take action, it's asking you to take one step at a time. The other card you've got for this emergence is the spirit fox and it says trust your talents in changing times couldn't be more appropriate could it and it couldn't be you know with fire signs you've got these burning desires immense talents can be stubborn but immense talents darlings use those talents these times are changing Use that burn inside of you to bring those changes in that you want around you. So from the Gaia deck, which is this one here, we've asked for some guidance. And you've got purification, which is water, emotional cleansing and rejuvenation. And again, this backs up the Queen of Chalices beautifully. It is just telling you again you really do need an emotional cleansing it may be very difficult to come out of lockdown it may be that emergence is going to feel leave you feeling a little bit exposed and what it's telling you is is rejuvenate use the water to heal and rejuvenate in your emergence maybe not even go back to your old way of being and be graceful in moving forward you have the nine of hearts which is fulfillment harmony and protection so know as you are emerging that there is fulfillment around and it may be that because you've got had time to spend with your family with your children with those that you've loved around you that have been in lockdown with you that moving forward means for you not only are there going to be new traditions but there's going to be this feeling I get the feeling for you that work-life balance is going to change immensely for you fire signs um, just because you have embrace this new way of being so well so darlings the last card that i pulled for you which is from the sacred rebel deck is this beautiful card and it says new birth guarded vigilante now i quickly peeked at this because I, I kind of knew what it was saying um but this believe it or not is an emergence card this is about new birth it's about renewal this is about the emergence of a tiny um, sprig coming up through the earth and being reborn. It's about that 
vulnerability, that moment when we're born, when we quite don't know if we're going to take that first breath, whether we're going to take that first step. But this is all about emergence. It is a beautiful card and it talks about the growth that you will do once you have emerged from the earth. Fire signs, I mean, that is a beautiful card um, to get and it's very appropriate for now. And your whole reading has been about the emergence, about rebirth, about healing, about purification, about graceful movements and trusting yourself that coming out you can do this wholeheartedly and feel really good about it. Now that vulnerability you can take forward um, and you can build on that vulnerability, you can build on the birth of yourself coming out. It's a very beautiful reading, Fire Signs. Um, for, sorry, for those of you who don't know, Fire Signs are the Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. My darlings, whatever you're doing for the emergence, for the coming out of lockdown, please, 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 be careful, be safe, and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.